sound like an old man. Are you uh, <laughs> walking up here all casual? And how are you guys today? And you feel feel old? You feel like you're a veteran here? Uh, yeah. I mean, going on my fifth year here, uh, I feel like I put in a lot of time, and you know, I'm just excited for this season to get underway. So. What's different about the the secondary this year, as far as well, specifically the cornerback room? You guys have been so experienced, but now it's like you guys have had time to hone things together. Yeah, I think, like you said, uh, experience goes a long way. All of us are entering either our fourth or fifth year here. We got the defense under our belt, so it allows us to play a lot more loose in the back end. And, um, yeah, so it helps us make plays, playing free like we do. And you've seen what happened last season, MJ, Quez, me, all making a lot of plays out there. So, you know. What's it like having two new guys who are going to be working in between you guys in the safeties, whoever does win the starting spots, as far as how they've communicated and helped relay things between you guys? Um, I don't think there's a huge drop off. You know, we lost um, Eric and B Hill to the NFL, but, you know, they did a great job of, you know, bringing those guys with them, you know, extra film and helping them with checks when it was their time to go. So now that it's their time this season, they're already ready. It's like, you know, they're ready for that prime time. Is it, how's communication coming in the back end? Like, are you getting used to hearing those voices as opposed to Eric's voice? Yeah, I'm getting more used to it. You know, it's day 14, 15 at camp, so I've gotten pretty used to it uh, for the most part. So as all the rest of the corners, and, you know, they're doing a great job with their checks and um, getting more comfortable back there being with the starting group kind of been known as the fastest guy on the team for a little bit now, but they got some uh, some, some speedsters on the offensive side of the ball. Has there been any tests of speed so far with like guys like Chud and Bub and everybody? Uh, yeah, I mean, Bub and Che can really roll. Uh, it's always uh, fun competing with them. And, uh, you know, when it's a deep ball, it's whoever wants it the most because we're all rolling down the field. It has put some corners in the NFL. And, and I often wonder, if, do you feel like this defensive scheme because of how challenging it is, and it puts you on an island, you know, do you feel like that gets you some, I don't want to say some extra credit with the NFL, but it's sort of like if you can survive and excel in this defense, then you can probably hang at the next level? Yeah, I think I think so very much. Um, you see with um, Mari, Dane, and Jay Penny that, you know, they were able to be successful in this defense on that island, and their skills and the things that they learned here at Pitt translated very well to the NFL. All of them are starting on their respective teams. And, you know, it's a testament to Coach Bates and Coach Collins, what they teach us in um, the defensive uh, meeting rooms. What's you guys' nickname as a group? What's our nickname? As yeah. The Hounds. Like, the ho you guys are the Hounds because everyone's yeah. got, got a Waffle House yeah. gang and, and uh, you know, like, there were different groups like that. But the Hounds, how'd y'all come up with that? Because we're always on the hunt. Okay. I like that. Yeah. And so – you know, I saw today like, you guys are doing your run at the ball, full speed, catching catching the ball drill. Mm -hmm. You guys have found a way to create so many touchdowns off of turnovers. Mm -hmm. What do you think has led to that kind of environment? Because it's not just a coincidence anymore. You guys have done this for a while. Yeah, I think it's the drills that we do. Like you saw, we try and do that once a week and incorporate all types of ball drills so we get used to getting our hands and getting interceptions and being able to return it, you know, full speed finish on everything. So. And, and then also, it seems like you guys seem to think offensively. Like, I look back to that, you know, MJ's pick six against West Virginia, mm -hmm. and immediately just all of you just got f found guys and walled guys off, even guys that seemed like, you know, three people away mm -hmm. from MJ. What goes into just the thought process to coalesce like that as a group? Yeah, we, uh, we practice that, and Coach Bates stresses that. As soon as we get an interception, everybody set up blocks, just like punt return. Mm. Um, that's what he stresses in the meetings whenever there's a turnover. So anytime we catch an interception, even if it's in practice, we're turning to find the first man to block so we can create s touchdowns off our turnovers. Pitt has led the – has been a top three sack-producing program in the country for four straight years. Do you see you guys being one of the top intercepting groups in the, in the, in the country as well soon? Uh, yeah. I mean, I have full confidence on our guys in the back end, and I, I'm fairly confident that we're going to have a great year this year. And – create even more turnovers and touchdowns off those turnovers just by the way that we've been practicing this offseason. Coach, I'm sure Shadarian won that contest today. What do you think to guys like him and, and Cruz and Jesse and those guys being the captains for this team? Yeah, I think uh, me, MJ, and Quez are doing a great job of taking the young guys along and really showing them the ropes and building confidence in within, within them to be able to compete and 
you know, do all the drills correctly and, you know, win drills against, you know, the older guys and all that. So. Pat Narduzzi said that he, through his eyes, the fourth guy behind behind all of you guys that start, who start at corner right now is Ryland. What has he done to kind of be that guy that kind of leads up, like maybe he's the next generation after you guys go to the NFL? Um, I'd say it's just, you know, the way he comes in attacks practice every day, the consistency he shows. And we see that with a lot of our young guys that are coming through the program now, like uh, Crump, Noah, all of them. They're doing a great job of, you know, honing in on the details and coming to work every day and being consistent and competing above all else, competing. I think uh, you made the, the freak switch, right? Yeah. <laughs> would, you, uh, would you think when you saw that? Uh, I was excited. It's, uh, it's nice to know that, you know, my name made the top 100, 101, mm -hmm. the top 100. And, uh, you know, just got to not only, you know, show that I can do that, but, like, show ev the whole ACC and the country that, the plays I can make that I'm not just, you know, a guy that can run fast. Hey, have you gotten notes about, like, what you need to do to get ready for the next level as far as things that you need to focus on so that, you know, when you're at the combine and then you're getting ready to show everybody in the NFL so that you make sure that you're one of those draft picks? Just make more plays. That's the name of the game. Just keep getting my name out there. I had a solid season last year, but, you know, above all else, just make plays and, you know, be consistent in my technique. That's it. You guys have had those draft picks, but I thought it was interesting. I was looking at this. Since Pat narduzzi has been here, there's only been one pick cornerback who's made the first or second all team all ACC, according to the coaches. Is that you guys have had like four draft picks mm -hmm. and only one first or second team all conference pick? Is that strange to you? What, what do you think is behind that? Why do you, do you feel like maybe you don't get respect? Um, I feel like a lot of the times our back end gets, you know, underlooked. Uh, because, you know, we're such a attack-heavy defense and, you know, our defensive line is so good that, you know, a lot of times we don't get that chance to make plays on the ball. But um, I think that, like I said earlier, the way our defense is set up, that we're going to be successful at the next level just because we're put on that island and are, and are made to cover and be, get comfortable with being on our own. So uh, it's surprising, but also it, it helps us translate to the NFL better.